Are you frustrated with meetings spinning off on tangents and not sticking to the agenda? It's really easy for meetings to be very unproductive. Stay tuned to this video because I'm going to give you five efficient techniques on how to be effective in your meetings. As well, stay tuned to the end because I have some awesome tips that's going to keep you productive and knock your productivity out of the park. For tips on accelerating your professional career, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button, and you will be notified of a brand new video every Wednesday. Hi, I'm Adriana Girdler, a productivity and meeting facilitator expert, and I've been doing this for over 20 years in the business, helping teams become successful. Listen, if you don't master your meetings, someone else will. And I have, with tried and true techniques, have learned how to do this, and I'm gonna share with you my strategies. Use a timeout. What? Can you actually time out a colleague? Absolutely. Sports teams do it all the time. That's how they keep things strategic and ensure that the players know what they're supposed to do. Same thing applies to meetings. So how do you do this? Well, I use a T and I go around the room and at the beginning of the meeting, please don't do this at the end or in the middle because people have no idea what you're talking about. Ask for permission to time them out and explain why. Because you want to keep things on track. Not only are you a facilitator, but you're the timekeeper and you want to make sure that anything that is not on agenda is stopped so you can stay and stick to your agenda items. So what do you do with that important information that you just called the timeout on? Well, you put it on a parking lot and I'm going to get to that in a sec. Parking lot patrol. Your parking lot is a real efficient tool that you use in order to capture all of your non-agenda items that are distracting you in your meeting. So if someone goes off topic, guess what? You call a timeout, you now know how to do that, and you place it on the parking lot. What's really important about this is not just the physicality of placing something on a parking lot, it's psychologically. People get off topic for a reason. They either have a hidden agenda or something is really passionate and important to them. So what you want to do is you don't want to ignore it because it will stay with them and they'll be distracted throughout the whole meeting. They won't participate. You want to be able to call it out for what it is. Give it a timeout, capture it, capture your notes here. So now that they see it, they can drop it and release it. Now, what's really, really important with parking lots is what do you do with this afterwards? You just don't rip it and put it in the garbage because what? You're throwing thoughts and important information in the garbage. You got to do something with it. So you either put it on action items, you put it in your meeting minutes, and you or you send it off to the people who had items on this parking lot and you set up some one-on-one -on -one meetings with them to get this information from them further that was not part of your original meeting agenda. If you've ever attended a meeting that would benefit from this particular productivity technique, write down parking lot in the comment below. The ground rules. This is another amazing technique that will instantly transform your meetings. I love my ground rules session rules. And it is something that at the beginning of the meeting, I actually lay it out, post them up, and review each one with everyone. Now, what's really cool is when people don't follow these ground rules, guess what you do? You time them out. The important part is to really ensure that you set this up at the beginning of the meeting so everyone is really clear with expectations. It's when everyone knows what they can and can't do that makes a huge difference with the productivity of your meeting. Now, if you want one of these babies, I have it on my website. Check it out by grabbing the link below. You can also create your own, but I do have one set up for you, just for you. The art of getting a yes, gaining consensus. Now, what do we want in meetings? We want to move forward and we want to get everyone to agree to what it is that we're trying to do. We want to get a yes. But if you're going to get 100% agreement, forget it. You're going to get nowhere. A lot of times you have to kind of do some negotiation. And a technique that I use if you cannot get a full 100% yes is gaining consensus. And that is, I may not 100% agree, but I can and will live with support and carry through with the group's decision. So I share this definition of consensus with everybody and we actually use it. Do I have your consensus? And so now that we know that definition, getting that yes has a lot more value. So even if they don't agree, they will support it. And that's really critical for success on a lot of project items and business in general. Surprise your meeting participants with some fun. Yay! No, like seriously, I like, really should have some fun. Sometimes meetings are so static and it's all about strategy and just pushing things forward. Sometimes doing something really simple can bridge people together. 
Now, when I talk about this, I sometimes have clients who say to me, okay, we don't want games, we don't want the typical stuff. So I've created something really cool that bridges the gap of just doing your standard meeting, but allows people to get in, to know each other a little bit more and actually become really connected. That has huge positive consequences. And I created this homemade little spin the wheel with real cool questions that what you do is you just pass it around and it lands and you learn something new about someone in the meeting. Now, how cool is that? That just keeps us connected, which actually allows us to move forward and do really awesome work collectively as a group. Now that you know how to keep your meetings on track like a pro, now take a look at the rest of the stuff you're doing so you can excel with that too. I've created just for you an awesome download, 21 days to getting shit done at work. I promise you full of amazing tips and tricks. You can grab it by going to the link below. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and share it with all the professionals that you know. If you feel more confident now running meetings, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Until the next video, see ya.